Hi there, it's Dave from Vortos here and I've got a quick video for you today of a new Foxconn product. In particular, we're going to be taking a look at a P67 motherboard from them. Uh, in recent years, you've seen Foxconn really embrace OEM type products, but in, come January, we're going to see them really enter the P67 and H67 Sandy Bridge market. So what can we expect from Foxconn in regard to these new products? Well, really, you're going to be able to chip into high-end performance, but on a budget. Now in particular with this P67 AS that I'm going to be taking a look at today we're going to be able to overclock within Windows, tweak lots of different settings on the fly. Uh, it's got SART 6G support, USB 3 support, uh, Crossfire SLI and a whole bunch of other stuff. So as usual what we'll do is a quick unbox video and then I'll take you on a quick tour of the various features, give you a nice close up and uh, really go from there. Okay, so taking a look at the box, there isn't a great deal of detail on there and it's fairly plain, but what they do state is that it's going to have DDR3 support, which we'd expect anyway. Uh, you've got compatibility with Windows 7 and the Norton badges there, so I presume you've got internet security there bundled on the disk. But over on the back, we've got a lot of emphasis towards overclocking, and the good news is it's going to be directed towards both the novice and the expert user. So we're going to be able to tweak those settings really easy and hopefully get the clock speeds right up. Opening the box then we've got the board in an anti-static bag. Take a closer look at that later. We've got two serial ATA cables. We've got the driver disc and yeah it does have uh, Norton internet security on that. We've got the input output panel which is grey. A user manual which covers but well, I think it's in English actually and we've got the quick installation guide so we've got a diagram of the actual board going through the features pointing them out and yeah it just tells you how to install the CPU on this big guide and the various different components which is really handy you can get your system up and running as soon as possible so what we'll do now is we'll take a closer look at the board itself Okay, I've got the P67 AS out of the box, and as you can see, it's quite a vibrant setup. You've got some nice yellow colours there on the uh, DDR3 lanes and the PCI Express. Distinguishes from a lot of the motherboard manufacturers, which typically go for the reds and the blues. Okay, I'll just take you on a close up look of the various features. So, starting with the uh, the chipset, this has got the obviously the P67 uh, support for LGA 1155 Sandy Bridge uh, processors. Now we've got the heatsink, which covers the, uh, the phase power. There isn't actually any phase power along the top, it's quite a big gap there. It takes dual channel DDR3. That's right from 1066 all the way up to 2200OC. With serial ATA advancing from 3G over to 6G, you'll be surprised to know that this board has actually got an IDE slot. Just see there, next to the 24 pin power, we've got the, the support for IDE hard drives. So if you've got one of those, you'll be able to use it on this board. A lot of motherboard manufacturers have moved away from LED display for debugging the system but you'll see on the P67 AS we've got the LED display for debug so if you've got any problems with the post if you can't get past uh, the post into Windows and you've got perhaps memory faults and stuff like that you'll be able to distinguish what's actually going on and uh, diagnose the system and there we've got next to that we've got the AMI BIOS Taking a look at the storage there, we've got four ports for serial ATA 3G. Those are the black ones, and then the yellow ones, we've got the 6G support, two of those slots. For USB, we have up to 12 ports for USB 2, and then an additional two ports for USB 3. So these three headers here will give you up to six ports. On recent boards, we've seen onboard power and reset and we have in fact two little buttons here 
which are great to see. We've got the power there and the reset. So if you've got this board on a test bench, you don't have to hook up the front panel connectors there into a case. You can in fact just use those buttons if it's got power. Covering the Southbridge chip we have a nicely sized heat sink with the Foxconn branding on there. Next to this, the PCI Express lanes. The two yellow ones are 16 speed, while the smaller are the one speed. Got three of those. And then we have the legacy support for PCI. There's two of those. Moving around to the input output panel, we have PS2 support for keyboard two USB 2 ports, digital SPDIF, coaxial SPDIF for audio, two USB 2 ports, and next to this two orange eSATA ports, gigabit LAN with a further two USB 2 ports beneath, two USB 3 ports which are in the blue colour, and then finally we have eight channel audio. So that really concludes our video preview of the Foxconn P67AS. I hope you've enjoyed the video. We can't obviously publish any performance related results at this stage, not until the second week of January, as with all the Sandy Bridge reviews. So until then we can't publish any benchmarks or overclocking results. But thanks very much for watching and as always, please comment, please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos soon.